Hello friends, welcome to my channel Electrical Master. This video we are going to discuss about what is diesel generator, how diesel generator is working. Okay, let us go to the video. Diesel generator. Diesel generator it is the combination of a diesel engine with an electrical generator to generate the electrical energy. So it is the combination of mechanical equipment with the electrical equipment to produce the electrical power. You can see this picture. This right side of the part is called the electrical part. This is the electrical generator, AC generator also called alternator and this uh, uh, left side of the part it is uh, mechanical engine this engine it's uh, having various parts uh, it's like uh, air filters oil filters and fuel filters and radiators and engine combustible engine and these are the protective devices for a uh, uh, generator site like uh, controller you could say this one so these are the parts and this is a diesel generator and we will see how it is working this is the general black diagram of diesel, diesel generators working. We are giving mechanical input that is the diesel to the diesel engine. So what will happen engine start to rotate and engine and generator both are coupled with the single shaft. So engine once it start rotated means the generator also start rotated because of that uh, rotating shaft. So what will happen? So generator if it is rotate it will produce the electrical power. So this is a general concept how DG is working. We will see the uh, detail how it is functioning of each part. Uh, so the, the from the black diagram we understand there are two parts one is the mechanical that is the engine part another one is the electrical generator parts. So first this video we will only focus on this electrical generator how it is working diesel generator how it is working. So diesel generators is working in the principle of Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction and we know what is the law is uh, states this law states whenever the current carrying conductor plays in the magnetic field the conductor cut that magnetic flux and produce the EMF in the conductor this is that Faraday's law is uh, uh, staying so we according to this Faraday's law we will see how the generator is working. If you see this is the uh, alternator or AC generator construction diagram. This uh, alternator or uh, AC generator there are having two main parts one it is called stator another one it is called rotor. Stator it is uh, having the armature winding and it is connected to the output terminal. You can see this uh, construction diagram this outside of that uh, part it is called uh, stator and it is carrying the armature winding and this winding is connected to the output of the generator and another one is rotor rotor it is called uh, we know it is a rotating part and it is carrying the field winding of that uh, generator and you could see the here uh, this is the field winding which is connected and further it is connected to the uh, DC input supply and uh, this rotor is connected with the uh, rotating soft you can see this uh, center point it's the soft so soft is rotated it means this rotor also gets start rotated and we will see how the uh, alternator is uh, functioning and when the engine is start uh, start to rotate that the generator rotor also start rotated yes uh, we already seen that diagram and this rotor is mounted in the same rotating shaft so engine rotated means this rotor also start rotated so what will happen so now we will apply uh, excitation to the rotor winding excitation means nothing but we are giving just an external DC supply or DC current to this field winding. You can see here this picture. This field winding, I told you, it's further connected to that DC supply. Here, uh, the generator is a uh, uh, engine is start rotated, so our rotor also rotated. So now we will apply the excitation DC supply through external uh, battery or whatever it is. We are giving the input supply to that field winding. According to that uh, induction principle what will happen we apply that external current that winding get energized so what will happen that winding is will produce that uh, 
magnetic flux in surrounding of that uh, coil it is uh, it is it is general uh, properties of the induction uh, windings so what will happen uh, <coughs> according to the faraday's law faraday's law states uh, the any conductor um, uh, um, according to the faraday's law stator conductor is cut the rotor magnetic flux because um, this stator is placed near to this rotating uh, magnetic field so now here this uh, stator is a act as a conductor so what will happen now it's a, now it is a current carrying conductor and here the magnetic field is produced according to the faraday's law this conductor is cut this magnetic field so what will happen due to that uh, so due to that uh, uh, faraday's principle that conductor will induce that current in this conductor itself so current uh, conductor is producing the induced current that inducer current emf is connected to the output of the alternator this is in this way our alternator is functioning and uh, the output of the generator is to maintain that uh, output voltage is constant by the device it is called avr automatic voltage regulator because uh, sometimes that uh, uh, output of the generator is varying with the uh, Uh, connecting load the load is sometimes is a higher sometimes is lower because of that uh, fluctuation there is chance for voltage variation in the output terminal for maintaining that output voltage is constant uh, simply we are installing the electronic component is a avr automatic voltage regulator It, this is always sensing the output to voltage of the uh, generator whenever the output to voltage is getting reduced this avr is giving uh, command to increase the input dc supply of the field winding so input current is increase in the field winding it's automatically output also increase similarly vice versa the output voltage is getting over voltage then the avr will sense and it will give the command to the field winding to reduce that input current to the field winding so the output also reduced so in this way alternators are working in diesel generators and thank you so much for uh, watching this video If you really like this my video please give a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you